What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Casey Powell Across 2018 Career Mode. Following the attacking mini freshman Taylor McNeilis, who plays for the Denver Pioneers, ranked number 12th in the nation, getting ready to face off UVA, number 16 in the nation. And we all know UVA is a powerhouse school when it comes to lacrosse. So here we go. We're down on the field. Got the pregame, you know, pregame juice is flowing, baby. I feel good. I feel good, ready to win, ready to take on UVA. I know this is going to be a tough game. We're going to have to come ready. We have to come ready if we want to. I'm not even talking about beating them. Yes, I want to beat them, but we got to be on our A game just to hang with them because this is a good school. So here we go. Trevor Baptiste wins the uh, wins the face off. I'm going to pick up the ground ball and uh, try and make a little dodge move. I got some open, pass it off to my teammate, Colton. Mm, just misses it. Then Ethan Walker's going to get the crease violation. A little unfortunate, but uh, I'm gonna sub out, man. A little had a little quick sprint. We're gonna do a line change, but here comes UVA down the field, making something happen. They pass it over to Colin. Colin back out to Drew. Drew up top to Jack, and back over to Colin, moving the ball around the crease, trying to find the next open man. And here's Austin with the clean shot. 1-0. UVA takes the lead. In just 53 seconds in the first quarter. Take a look at this right here. Ooh, that's tough for the goalie to defend. That is tough for the goalie to defend. So here we go. Denver down 1-0. Denver will win the second faceoff. Second in a row. I'm going to pass it over to Taylor. Taylor's trying to make makes a couple moves and just saved by the goalie. And uh, UVA is going to take the rebound. And here they come down the field again. Jack over to Austin. Austin to Matt Jones. Matt Jones taking in the middle, finding Colin, looking for Mitch, who's back up top, and UVA doing a great job moving the ball around. That's how they scored the first time. Oh, and Austin's got a wide-open shot. He takes it. Save by Denver. Ethan Walker's going to pick it up, and he's going to pass it up to Austin. They're advancing up the field quick. Here comes Taylor McNeil. It's the freshman. He's the highest. He's the goal-scoring leader, and he can't. Oh, man. Misses that shot there. I was just about to say he's the leading scorer uh, for Denver University and uh, misses that shot there. So here comes Jackson, UVA, moving the ball back down in Denver's territory. They're passing the ball around, give it back outside to Nate, who's got some room to play around with it. Moving around to Austin, UVA finds his man in the middle. Colin scores 2-0. UVA goes up the Cavaliers. In just under uh, just under four minutes into the first, already have a two-goal lead. Uh, Denver's feeling that pressure, but here we go. Denver's winning their face-offs. They're three and zero in face-offs, and uh, McNeilis, nice spin move there, finds his man Jeremy with the short pass. Jeremy's gonna find a way for with a long shot into the goal. McNeilis looks like he just dumps it off to him, a little trickery, like he's gonna try and make a move, but. It looks like they do a little ball swap in the, uh, let's see, a little cradle here right in there. Boom. And he turns around and fires. The goalie wasn't even ready for that. I don't think he was expecting a shot from way out there. So let's pick it up. UVA's got the ball down in DU territory. Moving it around the crease. Back up top to Joe. Over to Adam. And they're uh, moving the ball around. He's going to take a shot from wide, but uh, that goes nowhere. McNeilis is going to pick up the ground ball and advance it upfield pretty quick so here though here we go now we're in uva territory looking to tie it up tries a spin move defender plays it well and he misses the shot nothing there so advancing forward a few minutes it is still two to one just under seven minutes to go pass it out to taylor taylor dodges and he scores and ties this thing up the man with the purple cleats makes a little move and a quick little shot oh nutmegs the goalie Nutmegs the goal. That's a nice shot right there. You got to love it. Got to love it from the freshman. Let's take a look at this again. Makes a little move. He just beats his man. He doesn't even really make a move. He just kind of, I think I think his man was expecting him to try and make a move inside, and he just took advantage of that defensive uh, placement and uh, just rolled right by him. So Drew, UVA is trying to take some of these shots from way outside, but they're, they're not going to make anything from out there. They need to if if they want to score, they're going to have to do what they did in the first two goals and get that ball right in the middle of the crease. And here we go. DU with three unanswered. UVA goes up 2-0, two, two and Denver's coming back with three of their own and a beautiful shot there. Now 3-2 to two in the first. It's a high-scoring game. 
high scoring game. Gate, great pass from McNeilis, and then his teammate finds the bottom corner of the net there. So Danny over to Logan or Connor, sorry, Connor over to Ted, back up top to Taylor. Taylor finds his man Colton down. Oh, Colton one on one with the goalie, he can't do it. But Ted Sullivan's gonna pick up the ground ball, and they still don't get anything with it. And UVA saves, and uh, now they're moving up the field, passing it up to Miguel. Miguel down to Mitch. Mitch looking for teammate Collins. Got it. No, uh, doesn't have a good angle, so they're gonna bring it back up top. Good ball movement here, looking to find somebody. Not sure what they're doing, just kind of standing around, maybe making a play call, and he takes a, I don't know if that was a shot or a pass. Can't really tell. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter, Denver 3, UVA 2. And uh, UVA is actually going to win the faceoff to start the second. So here we go. Nick over to Ethan. Ethan down to Austin. Austin has a chance to shoot, but instead he passes up on the opportunity. And uh, he's going to take that shot, but not nearly as good as a shot as the uh, first opportunity he had. So Denver's going to inbound the ball. Taylor, oh, he's got a wide open opportunity here. He just misses it. Col Colin, Colin, sorry, takes the rebound. Taylor gets another chance. Oh, man, let's take a look at this replay. Right off the knee. Looks like off the shin or the knee of the goalie. I swear that was in. So uneventful second quarter so far. Here comes Taylor. He's going to find the back of the net again. That's his second goal of the game, finally. Finally, I was afraid we were going to go the whole second quarter without anybody scoring a goal. We only got four minutes left with no goal scored. And the freshman's going to find the back of the net with a great shot. Multiple opportunities. His teammates trust in him, though, and they know he's going to find a way to score. So they keep feeding him the ball. Uh, good job overall. So that's actually going to be it for the first half. The only goal scored. Such a... Uh, it was high octane scoring in the first uh, in the first quarter. The second quarter, though, woof. Um, yeah, only one goal scored. So let's go ahead. Not much to look at stat wise at the four two game. Uh, we already know that uh, Denver's uh, winning the face off race, and uh, they're also up in the game. So let's jump ahead to the third, and uh, UVA wins the face off to start the third. And the Aaron shot goes wide, but they will get the ball back. Ethan's gonna pass this up to Jack. Rotating it around, and Drew's going to take a shot from outside. He misses, gets the rebound, and scores, though. I, I just said earlier in the second quarter that if UVA wants to score, they can't be taking these shots from so far outside. And he misses the first one, but somehow he gets his own ground ball right here and picks it up, Boom. finds the back of the net, and now we have a one score. Now, that's just 30 seconds into this quarter. Here we go. UVA wins the faceoff again. Denver needs to pick it up. They're moving down the field fast, and he rips a shot, and they tie it up. I couldn't tell if that went in, but the scoreboard changed, so let's take a – ooh, right off the calf, inside calf of the goalie. Oh, that's a shame. Look at two goals in 45 seconds for UVA. Uh, Denver needs to step it up. It's 4-4. Four to four. Here comes Taylor. He's going to make something happen. Dumps it off to Colton for a short pass. Colton across to Jeremy. Jeremy back up to Austin. Austin all the way back out to Ethan, subbing in. Here comes Taylor. Boom! The hat trick for the freshman, the man in the purple shoes. Let's give it up. Give him a round of applause. Give him a round. That's a hat trick, baby. He's keeping Denver in this game. Got to love it, man. Got to love it. The freshman keeping Denver in the game. It's 5-4. He's got three goals. And a uh, turnover, though. He's been known to turn the ball over because uh, he hangs on to it a little bit too long. Uh, I think that's one of uh, one of the complaints his teammates have. And just like that, off that turnover, uh, UVA is going to score fifth and tie it up after the McNeilis turnover. What a great shot. Ooh, man, I'm impressed with some of these shots. Everybody, everybody finding the top corner, bottom corner. Great efforts by the goalie. They've made some great saves today for the goalies on both teams, but... You have some sharpshooters on uh, both of these offenses that are finding ways to score. So you got to compliment on that. And just like that, UVA scores again. I was just talking about sharpshooters. And we got another one. We have another one. Mm. He just fought. The goalie didn't even see it coming. There's uh, so much traffic in front of him. He doesn't even see it. He doesn't even see it. It's ridiculous. Oh, man. All right. So UVA is going up 7-6. to six. They're up 1 
McNeil is back in the game for his line change. And Denver Pioneers going to score 7-2-7. Seven seven. Let's take a look at this. This was not McNeil. This, as you know, there was a misprint on the jerseys, and Denver has two number 10s uh, that are on the field at any given time. And you can tell which one is the freshman because he's got those uh, fresh purple cleats. So 7-7. Seven to seven. We got ourselves an exciting lacrosse game here. Six and a half minutes left in the third. And uh, Denver's going to win the faceoff again. Their first faceoff win in a while. Taylor's bringing it up. He's going to find Jeremy. Jeremy shoots. Saved by the goalie. Good save. And uh, UVA is now advancing the ball into DU territory. Here comes Miguel. He's going to find his teammate, Colin. Colin takes a shot and scores. Mm. That's a dagger right there. Eight to seven in the third. And we're going back and forth back and forth the goalie looks like a may have scraped the goalie's rib cage uh slid right across the side let's take a look at it from this angle here hard to tell very hard to tell but it looks like the goalie might have gotten a piece of it and it just so happened to roll into the goal so uva is up eight to seven du wins the face off and they're advancing quick up to taylor he finds him and taylor shoots and scores for goal numero four Get off my man here. Four goals in one game for the freshman against number 16 in the nation. Come on. Come on. Give him MVP. The MVP trophy's his. He's leading DU in scoring. He's leading DU in assists. And he's got four goals against number 16, UVA. And we got it tied 8-8 eight to eight going into the fourth. What a game. Let's go. Let's go. This is going to have big playoff seating implications, too. And UVA finds the back of the neck. Mm, tuck that thing away. Tuck it away. Look at this shot right here. Goal has got to do something. See, and this is what I said earlier. UVA cannot shoot from outside. They got to find their man in the middle, and they're going to score every time. And if you go back and you look at this goal right here and look at all the other goals, they're scoring everything from right there, right by the crease. They just got to keep moving the ball around and find their guys outside and, you know, hit their man, rotate. They're just rotating. That's all they're doing is looking for a man in the middle and rotating. When it doesn't work out, they rotate outside and, oof, just like that, UVA takes a 10-8 to lead. Denver is in trouble. Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. DU's in trouble. They finally got the respect to get the top 25 just a couple weeks ago. They don't quite have the respect to get top 10 yet, but they need to beat UVA. If they if they want to show the country they're worthy of the top 10, they have to beat UVA. Uh, and that's going to be a turnover for Denver. Not good when you're down 10-8 to eight in the fourth quarter. You can't just turn over the ball like that. Here comes DU down the field. 10 minutes to go in the game. They're going to find Taylor. Taylor's trying to make a move in front of the net. He takes a shot, and it's wide. Probably should have passed it off to a teammate there. And uh, we'll inbound at the call in to Danny. They find Taylor open in the middle. Uh, he may he decides not to shoot it, but they will pass it, and they find Jeremy down in the crease instead. And he scores the goal to make it 10-9 in UVA's favor, but Denver closing the gap. It's hard to, uh, hard to stop a shot uh, from that close. So... Yeah, that's just great offensive move. You see how the moment Taylor, he doesn't, McNeilis doesn't shoot, he bounces it out to his teammate and everybody follows the ball because they're worried about him shooting down in the crease and they forget about Jeremy down below. So here we go. Five minutes left in the game. UVA 10, DU 9. Colton Jackson has it. He's going, he shoots and he scores. Let's go. Ties it up. We got a tie ball game with five minutes left. Let's take a look at this in the replay. A little sidewinder shot. Mm. That looks like it hit the goalie too and bounced right in there. Let's take a look at it from this second angle here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. Let's slow it down. Mm. Right off the goalie and bounces in. That's a lucky break for DU. Really lucky break. So here we go. DU wins the faceoff. Taylor's going to find Ted. Ted back up to Colton. Colton shoots. Boom. Talk about clutch. Talk about clutch. I take back what I said. I, I know we've been following the freshman, but give this man, Colton, the MVP for coming in with two clutch goals in the fourth quarter to not only tie, tie the game, but also take the lead. 
This is amazing. This is amazing. And Denver is going to win 12-11. you got to be kidding me. They take down number 16, UVA. What a game. This is going to be great for their standings, great for their seeding in the playoffs because uh, DU is going to the playoffs no matter what. Uh, they definitely secured it with this win. They'll be in there. And, yeah, I'd be celebrating too. 12-11 DU over UVA. MVP of the game is Taylor McNeil. I mean, I know – yeah, he. I know Colton Jackson, he also had four goals, but McNeilis also had two assists. So, um, and as the, and I said Colton Jackson, I mean, look out for this guy, but four goals for both him and McNeilis. McNeilis with two assists. Uh, these two guys just really tearing it up out there. So, looking at the rest of UVA's or Denver's schedule, they got two games left, and uh, yeah, two games left. Season's coming to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm trying my best to upload as much as I can. Uh, see you next time. Peace.